420. A pot smoker's holiday. On location. 96 X. I'm still broadcasting out from Hampton Pipe and Tobacco. Inside Hampton Pipe and Tobacco, 10 on your side's undercover cameras captured customer after customer buying spice incense. An aromatic blend, not for human consumption, with names like K2, Peppery, and Blaze It. Ten on your side purchased this K2 from Aardvark Glass on Norfolk's Collie Avenue. Do you have spice? At Tobacco for Less, also on Collie, an employee went digging before offering us five grams of orange dragon spice for $145. Wow. Can I get a thing of the spice silver? Sure. 1575. Thank you. Hampton Pipe and Tobacco uh, owner Dave Mickle. It's not illegal. It's it's an incense. It's sold as an incense. But Norfolk Deputy City Attorney Cynthia Hall says that's just a smoke screen. The whole purpose for this product being out there is to smoke it in pipes. Do you think that there is anybody out there in the world buying spice incense for its potpourri effect? Um. Come on, like, no, they're buying it to smoke. This smoker says he got turned on to spice by a friend in the military. Spice is on the Navy's zero tolerance policy. We can't afford to have any sailor that's abusing drugs uh, high on the job. But users say it's undetectable. It doesn't pop up on a urinalysis. The high? Like the first time you smoke marijuana. I sat on that couch for two hours just smiling. Followed by an incredible low. Once you come down, you, you're tired. You're so tired, you just have this headache in your head that's like the worst migraine you've ever had. Despite crashing, this regular spice smoker says it's worth it because spice is legal. Or is it? Hall discovered spice during a convenience store check. What is this product? It seems very expensive for that small packet. She found it odd that it wasn't with the other incense. It's not being used to burn as an incense type material. Then she remembered a DEA alert warning officials to be on the lookout for spice. It's a definite concern. It's getting on the radar screen for us. Mike Kennedy is the resident agent in charge at the Norfolk DEA. Kennedy and Hall are working with Norfolk narcotics investigator Kathy Peterson. We're looking at felony charges for these, um, and it would be prosecuted just like we would prosecute any other drug case. Spice, maybe more than just a mix of herbs. <laughs> Some spice contains HU210, a Schedule One controlled substance, putting it in the same category as cannabis and heroin. The problem with regulating spice? Well, not all spice contains HU210. Some spice contains something else, JWH-018, another chemical that makes smoking spice very similar to smoking marijuana. The difference, I would say, is um, spice, you don't need as much to smoke, and it lasts about twice as long. The only way to know for sure what's in spice is to test it in a lab. Norfolk officials say they are still waiting on final lab results from the samples they took from Hampton Pipe and Tobacco. But unknown chemicals mean unknown problems, and uh, people leave themselves wide open for it. As a parent, that's what really uh, concerns Hall. Um, we're hoping that at least the parents, after seeing your report, will be more vigilant and, and check into the status of this product. While JWH-018 is not an illegal Schedule One controlled substance, Norfolk officials believe it does violate Virginia code, either by being an imitation controlled substance or a designer drug. It's not legal, we won't sell it. Hampton Pipe and Tobacco owner Dave Mickle says he's just trying to make a living. He says he sells spice as an incense. What customers do with it after they leave is their business. Um, Officials are know, also investigating whether Hampton Pipe and Tobacco's exclusive brands of spice, HPT, and hamster violate packaging laws for not listing the ingredients. And we, we get it from the manufacturer and then we just put our label on it. That's, that's it. Mickle says he's not making this spice. As for whether or not it contains anything more than herbs? Dave, do you know what's in there? Yes. Well, tell me what's in there. I, I don't remember. I can't rattle off. 
the exact ingredients and I'm not going to try on camera. Which is why Norfolk City officials took dozens of samples from Mickel's store. If they say it's illegal or if they, you know, they're saying, okay, this, something's not packaged right, we stop selling. It, it, it's that simple. It's this spice smoker thinks officials are wasting their time. We have so many people here in Hampton Roads getting shot and killed every day, spend our money on something that matters. Until officials make an arrest or specifically ban spice on the books, <laughs> spice smokers say they'll keep on token. Melanie Woodrow, 10 on your side.